All right, everyone, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. And today we are going to teach this guy right here. I'm sure most of you recognize him. This is our cameraman, Dennis. He is a, what would you say, a 2-0 average bowler, somewhere around there? Sounds good to me. Basically an amateur bowler, and we're going to see what tips we can give him in particular on his bowling release. Stay tuned. All right, so this is this is new to the channel. We're basically doing a live coaching session with basically anyone that we would coach right here, Dennis. So Dennis, what is something that you want to work on today? Uh, so as I've grown up bowling, I always am like on the side of it, uh, kind of spinning it a little bit. So I want to try to get to the back of the ball. Yeah, hit the ball nice. a little more up the back. Yeah. So that's actually something that we see uh, most people come in and say, I want more revs, I want a better release, and almost always they're on the side of the ball. So as we were doing a coaching session, Dennis, we're going to have you throw a shot and see what we're working with here. All right, Dennis, first video on the first shot on the coaching of Brad and Kyle. Let's see it. Okay. Boom. No help. He doesn't need anything. This is what happens every time when we coach, is that they just throw a strike. We're like, all right, you can just go home. So, in all serious though, you can see that Dennis release, you have a lot of what we call axis rotation. Hand comes around the side. Now, in all the stuff you've tried in the past, have you ever really had success being able to come up the back of the ball? Uh, not really. The only time, well, I shouldn't say the only time, but every time I've tried to work on it, I just can't, I don't think I'm feeling the right thing, and so I can't, like, feel what the difference is. So that would be, like, a good trick to know, like, how do I feel it? How do, what do I do to feel it? And I'm glad you said the word feel because when, you, when we're bowling and we're trying to coach people, we're trying to create different feels. Your body is so hardwired into doing one thing that even if you change it or you feel like you changed it, if it doesn't feel a lot different, it's, 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 uh, it's not going to be different. So we're going to give Dennis two things to work on today. So we're going to grab Dennis's ball. And there's a lot of ways to go about this. We're going to see if this works from the start. So, Dennis, I want to put your hand in the ball. So we'll get a little closer so that people can see here. So, Dennis, we're going to face this way and pretend like you're in your normal setup. So to create the feel that Dennis is talking about, you're going to notice this V right here between your index finger and your middle finger. What I'm going to have Dennis do is I'm going to have him spread this a little bit so it creates a bigger V. Hopefully you guys see that at home, that V. Now, when he gets in his setup here, I want him to point that V to the pins. Now, the trick to this is that when Dennis is in his swing, and so go ahead and swing the ball, and when he's coming back in his release, I want him to point that V towards the pins. So you have this V here. When you're coming through at the bottom of the release, that V between the index and the middle finger stays pointed towards the pins. Now, some things you're gonna, this is gonna feel so awkward for Dennis. It's probably gonna feel like Maybe you're doing like a backup ball or you're, anyway, we'll see how it feels. But anyway, V pointed towards the pins as you release, keep that V pointed towards the pins. You notice that the hand comes around the side, where is that V pointed? To the left. So we're going to give that a go. Hand's way too sweaty. Hand's sweaty? Hand's yeah. sweaty. I'm excited to see what this looks like. So normally Dennis has a lot of expectation. All he's focused on is that V keeping it pointed towards the pins throughout the release. All right. Significantly less axis rotation there in one shot. The ball did nothing. The ball did nothing. So <laughs> what did that feel like to you? Uh, it felt like I, when I get to the line and I'm letting go of the ball that I just pushed it. I didn't even I didn't even throw it. I didn't do anything. I just kind of like guided it dead straight. Yeah. So a lot of times when people are coming dead around the side and spinning it, we're really we're elbowing it, we're spinning it, and then we're almost like uh, we're kind of swiping at the ball a little bit. And it just doesn't produce those revs that are going to allow you to really blend out the lane and and help you grow as a bowler. So I just want to see one more shot of that. So this is shot number two. Dennis is still we're just focusing on the V here. He's focusing on that V in his setup here, and then as he releases, that he's keeping that V pointed towards the pins. Good. Butter! So, 
again, we're, point it. that's it. <laughs> I just got to point it. <laughs> so again, we're reverting back to the, when we pointed out feel. So we want Dennis to feel something that he's really never felt in a bowling release before, which this hurts. This hurts, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm moving that thing moving over. Moving <laughs> that thing over. So we're making it pretty drastic. We can see by just changing his feel a little bit, we're able to manipulate your ball roll quite a bit. Now we're going into the second thing. Now I'm not sure if Dennis is going to be able to get this because this would be like a next step type of deal. But for the sake of the video, and we don't want to throw a million shots, we're going to try it. So Dennis now is going to work on keeping that V pointed towards the pins. But now I want him to throw the ball into the lane. This is how we're going to help create that yo-yo release. So you talk about people collapsing that wrist, bringing it down and throwing the ball into the lane. Instead of coming around and releasing like this, we want to release hand up the back, throwing it into the lane. So Dennis, you're going to work on keeping this V shape here on the way back, but instead of swiping around, we're going to collapse this way into the lane, okay? So I don't know if we're going to do it, but let's give it a try. So V pointed at the pins and then Collapsing that wrist down and just throwing the ball into the lane. Let's see what happens. Nice. I'm from the side. How was that ball? How was that ball roll? Was it a little more up the back or was it around? Uh, I think I can do better, but I, I, I can feel like snapping it down instead of trying to do this. It's just a very different motion. I think. I think with enough shots, I could definitely get get there, but it felt like I was still, I was about half and half there, I would say, about so do you, 50%. So would you, if you were to describe it, do you feel like you're creating revolutions in like a different way? Yeah, because obviously, like what you were saying, like the swipe, that's how I create them all now. And yeah. on that, I'm putting it straight down, so it doesn't even feel like I'm, obviously I come around the side a little bit because it, it does a little something, Yeah. but it feels like I'm, instead of trying to hit it out and to make it bend I'm hitting it straight into the floor and that's getting it to do this obviously which is the point of what we're trying to do and that's what we want to do we want to start with that so I want to see one more because you you know for one if you're guided in the right direction and you're pointed out the correct feels you can do this thing in a few shots but you're getting it really quick and I'm sure you want to try another one so let's try another shot and see what we can do this is exciting man you came from 90 degrees of axis rotation so now we're getting really up the back it's good Nice. Awesome. Still got no idea where it's going, but. <laughs> yeah, and again, we work on one thing at a time, guys. When you're working on your games and you're wanting to change some drastic things like Dennis, it's one step at a time. We're working on the release. We don't care about targeting. We don't care about how many pins we have. We're starting here. You've thrown five shots working on this. This is going to take a thousand shots working on it. But if you can get pointed in the right direction and work on these things, then after a lot of repetition, for sure you can get it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that live coaching session with our cameraman, Dennis. Real quick, I want to show you guys something. It's pretty cool. You can see there's some flare rings now. Well, they're kind of going away. You can see it right there, right there. That's pretty close to the fingers and thumb. Before Dennis's old flare rings, you can kind of see some reckoning of it. They were way out here. So just in that little change, we're changing Dennis's track to get closer in the fingers and thumb, and that's a that's a good um, that's a good result to, to mean that we are rolling the ball more and changing release. So that's really cool to see. So Dennis, what are some uh, I guess wrapping up thoughts on our little coaching session? Uh, so like you said earlier uh, about being way on the side of it uh, and not being able to blend out patterns, they get really clipped for me pretty often, where my ball either never hooks or it way over hooks. So uh, with this type of release, I'm going to continue to uh, work on it to try and blend out patterns so that way I. They get a little easier for me instead of really, really hard, really fast. Yeah, I'm excited for you, man. Just in this short little session, we're able to see a really drastic change. So with a lot of practice, you'll get there. And if you guys are interested in coaching like this, we do have a coaching membership. The link will be in the description along with a coupon code. We have people around Dennis with a 2.0, all the way down to 150, beginners, all the way up to people that are more experienced to 220. So if, you, if you're looking for more coaching, that's all we're asking for. The link is in the description. If not, thanks for watching the video. Keep 
keep doing it. Like, subscribe. We love you guys. We'll see you later.